Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will be talking about a feature we have in Backendless called Custom API Keys. I know the name of the feature doesn't sound like something cool or exciting, but don't be quick to judge the book by its cover. Custom API Keys is an extremely useful and important feature for some types of applications. And the reason why I say some, you'll, you'll understand in a second. So the, the scenario that we had in mind when we designed custom API keys looked like this. Uh, consider an application when there are different groups of users. For instance, a ride sharing app. You have uh, within that app, you have an application that is used by drivers. You have an application that is used by passengers. And those are different applications. They work together. You submit a request for a ride and the, the, the drivers get pinged to whoever uh, picks up that ride, right? So different workflows working with the same type of data. Or think about the food delivery service from restaurants. You have an application used by consumers to select uh, items from the menu and place an order. You have another app used by delivery people who take that order from a restaurant and uh, deliver it to you. And I assume there is going to be another app used by the restaurants to receive that order and execute it and prepare and package and everything, right? So here we have multiple apps all working together. And the important thing is that if you think about it, each app has its own security rules associated with it. The data that a driver can see may not necessarily be the same data that the passenger can see or save or delete and whatnot. So everything boils down to the operations executed in the database. And not just the database, it could be applicable to messages being sent out in the published subscribe system or the files uploaded or, or downloaded. So all the assets on the back end would be subject to security policies associated with those groups of users. And that's exactly the use case that we considered when we designed custom API keys. How does it work? Well, it's super simple. You go into Backendless Console and you just create an API key. You give it a name and an API key is generated. Sounds pretty simple, right? So what, what's, what's the catch, right? How does it work? Well, the, the catch, the, the actual trick, is that for every API key that you create, we automatically create a custom security role. And you can configure permissions, uh, either grant or deny permissions for your data tables, for objects, for files, for published subscribe messages, for, for everything for that custom security role. So let's say if you have a ride-sharing app where you have a custom API key for drivers and a custom API key for passengers, and then those API keys have their own security roles, you can assign permissions to these security roles to reflect the, the nature of the business rules. You basically describe within Backendless Console what each group of those users can or cannot do. So when the user starts using the, the system, let's say an API request comes into Backendless. We'll look, at it, we'll look at it and see, oh, well, this request has an API, a custom API key for passengers or drivers or whatever the name you assign to it. And then we automatically assign that custom security role associated with that API key to that request. And as a result, when you start processing the APIs and you start retrieving data or storing data or updating data objects, 
uploading files, downloading files, pretty much everything that Backendless does, the security policy that you configure for that role will automatically be enacted and uh, enabled by Backendless. And as a result, creating the system where you have different groups of users becomes so much easier because Backendless security enforces those policies for you. How, it, how does it work, let's say, if you have a single application? Well, you can log in users using JavaScript or Android or iOS API too, okay? And uh, you determine in the system whether that user is a, a passenger or a driver. I'm talking about use case when you don't have multiple apps. Let's say everything is in the same app that has just different workflows. So you determine the, ro the role that user has, and then based on that role, you enable or, or reactivate backendless SDK with that custom API key, it's going to be exactly the same result. So basically, log in with JavaScript, Android, iOS, .NET, whatever API key. Once the user is logged in, determine the user role. There is an API for that to get their roles. And then depending on the role that they're in, you basically do backendless.init app, which is one of the function calls that you have to call before you do anything. So you basically call it again and initialize, uh, do the init app with the custom API key corresponding to that user's role. That's another way to do it. But the first scenario that I described is, is exactly how we envisioned custom API keys to be used. I hope uh, I made it clear and uh, described it well where you understand uh, how to use them. Uh, if you have any questions, contact us on our support forum or Slack channel. We'll be happy to, to help you out and describe how API keys, custom API keys could work for you. Thank you for watching and as always, happy coding.